hello welcome to another video in the networker training series in today's video we will be talking about or looking at the networker resources and control data on the slide here you can see the directory structure of networker so you if you have already followed the networker installation video you might see that there are many more directories available within the NSR folder on the networker server might it be uh, Windows or Linux for this topic we are concentrating only on these three main directories so on the screen you will see the NSR folder and within the NSR folder you can see the index folder the MM folder and the REST folder or RES folder we will look at each of these folders individually and see what each of those folders store within the itself under REST, you would see multiple other folders as well, which is the jobs DB, the NSR DB, the NSR LADB. So the jobs DB and the NSR DB are essentially the server components, and we will be talking about these two folders in the later slides. Uh, the NSR LADB itself is a database which is common or part of the network client and would be present in most of the networker uh, installed servers however the NSR LADB would be discussed in a later video first let's look at the client file index the client file index are stored under the folder index if you which you have seen in the earlier slide the index folder itself would contain multiple folders within it each folder representing one configured client on your networker server. The client file index stores information about each backed up file on the networker client. This information is required when you want to do a browsable recovery of a respective client. Each record for a client file index is around 160 bytes and the, in the size of the client file index would grow considerably depending on the number of files contained in a particular client. So the client file indexes can be queried using the command NSR info followed by the client name itself. This can be done based on the timestamp as well with the minus T switch, minus T as in Tango and the time date and time itself should be provided in an nsafe time format which is a networker time format which will help you to provide accurate information about the index that you're looking for the output of the nsr info is as shown in the in in the slide here it contains the name of the file that was backed up as part of this uh, backup window it also contains the date in two formats the first is the end save time which is the the new uh, the number that you see here and the next is a human human readable format this information might be required whenever you are you are looking for a particular file whose name you know but you do not know when the backup was done and the NSR info in turn can help you to figure out which backup that particular file was done and then you can go ahead and run the recover process against that particular uh, point in time next let's look at the media database so the media database contains information about all the networker volumes and the save set on those volumes so each volume has a volume record and each save set has a save set record for people who are not aware or do not know what a save set or what a volume is a save set is a is the unit of data that is residing on a client that is backed up using networker so this can be a mount point it or it could be a folder that is mentioned or it could be a file that is mentioned during the backup so essentially when you are doing a full file system backup and you're providing the save set as all for for linux it would be the uh, the save set is the name of the individual mount points on the operating system 
uh, for Windows it would be the name of the partitions on your operating system the command used to query the media database is mminfo we have uh, I have put in an example here which is used to query the backup for a particular machine uh, if you see the output here for mminfo for a client by the name demo Linux the output would look like this which contains the name of the volume which uh, where the safe set resides the type of the device uh, volume the name of the client the date when the backup was done the time of the backup the size of the backup the safe set ID the flag the level and the name of the safe set the media database itself is a SQLite database which is embedded SQLite database uh, starting with 9.x uh, if you are using an earlier version of Networker then the database for media uh, data database would be uh, of type WIS which is an old net, uh, legato propri uh, proprietary database so these the media database itself is stored under the folder mm which is under the root folder nsr the next database that we are interested to know about is the networker resource database which is under the folder nsrdb which in turn is under the folder res under the folder nsr the resource database is used to store the resource related configuration or resource related uh, information for all the resources within networker so resources are used to configure a networker environment each of a resource are managed as a configurable object by the networker administrator on your screen you, you can see a few type of resources that are used within networker uh, being client, the protection group, action, workflow, policy, schedule, pool, and so on. Anything that is configurable on networker is configured as a resource. So a resource will be defined by its attribute and values to those attributes. Nearly all the resources on networker are managed by the NSRD daemon. You can query the resource database by using the NSR admin command. The NSR admin command run individually will directly connect to the NSR DB uh, when the services are running. If in case your services are down or in case you want to connect to an offline resource database, you can use the command NSR admin minus D. So let's look at the folders inside NSR. Uh, as mentioned earlier, there are a number of servers within the NSR folder. But the ones of, of interest to us for this module is mm, res, and index. Let's first go ahead and take a look inside the index folder. So the index folder would contain individual folders for all the con clients that are configured. So we just have one client here. Uh, and let's go ahead and see. So we have again the db6 here. So let's go inside the db6 folder. And this is essentially all the files and folders that uh, stores your indexes. So try not to touch anything within those folders. Try not to get inside the in, uh, index folder because there is nothing that you can read directly from the index folders. So for uh, querying the indexes, you have to use the NSR info command. So let's go ahead and run the info command here that is nsr info and name of the client and hit enter and you can see that these are all the files and folders within the uh, within this particular copy of backup so when we run the query for the media database you will see how many copies of backup we have so this is actually just one copy i have just done one copy of the uh, backup so if you have if you have multiple copies then all those uh, data, um, all the information will be listed if in case you want to list the backup of just one 
particular or information regarding just one particular uh, backup you have to pull out the end save time information for that particular save set so we have end save time here from our earlier uh, NSR info output so we just use that here Min use the minus T switch to provide the end save time and then the client name which is this and then hit enter and it is going to list out the information for just that one backup all right let's take a look at the mm folder now the mm folder as i told you is a sqlite uh, folder do not try to query this or delete or alter any files within this folder which in turn might corrupt your media database for any of your needs towards uh, the media database or for querying the media database use the mm info command so the command would be mm info just using mm info minus avot would list all the backups that you have done on the media database uh, on this particular network uh, server or in other words it will list out everything that is that ha that is present in the media database we, as i told you i have just done one backup here so <clears throat> this is the uh, information regarding that backup it will contain information regarding the volume the type of backup the client machine information uh, the size and the level and so on so if in case uh, you are looking to get the uh, end save time for example for this particular uh, save set then what we'll do is we'll copy, copy the save set ID for that uh, machine and give it as a query to the MM media database so we have provided the query as the save set information that is SSID and we are going to pull out the uh, information for end save time uh, using the minus R switch and providing the parameter that we want from that uh, backup and that is the end save time similar way you can query a lot of other things like uh, maybe the volume and so on and you can get this information you can directly go to the man pages for mm info and get all the information from the man pages itself let's clear the screen and now look at the resource database which is under the res folder so the res folder contains three important folders that uh, we looked at earlier the jobs db which uh, we will be discussing in the coming slide then we have the NSR DB so to connect to the NSR DB you can run the command NSR admin and this is going on successful connection it will give you the NSR admin prompt to look at the the resources that are available you can type in type TYPE and it is going to list you what are the types of resources that are available the easiest way to navigate through the uh, NSR admin if you are using it for the first time to use, is to use the visual mode to switch to visual mode all you have to do is type in V and hit enter and this in turn is going to give you the visual mode to select the uh, different resources you can go back to select uh, highlight whichever resource you want to go to for example let's go to NSR client and then hit enter and then it is since as I told you I have just one client here but there are two instances of this client so we can look at the details here and edit whatever we want to edit if you are not familiar with the NSR admin command I would suggest not to use it use the NSR uh, administrator on the NMC network command management console that is and use the GUI to alter any of the attributes for any of the resources now let's go ahead and quickly look at the other uh, config, uh, control database that we have that is the jobs database 
the jobs database is uh, is used to store information regarding the status of any job that is run on network this in turn is controlled by the daemon the nsr job d and uh, this information is stored and maintained in the nsr jobs d database by default the uh, the uh, retention period for the uh, jobs db or the jobs database is 72 hours or three days this can be changed but it is not recommended to keep uh, the jobs db retention for longer period as the suggested size of the or the recommended size of the jobs db is to be kept under 1 gb and if in case you increase the retention of your jobs db the size of the jobs db might increase which in turn might uh, cause performance degradation so let's quickly jump on and see where our jobs db is so again the jobs db is within the res folder here is the jobs db there is an option to query the jobs db as well but there uh, you might not need to use it very often other than in case you want to customize or use your own application wherein you want to go and fetch the uh, status of a particular job um, then you can use the job query command so let's clear this job query and you can use similar kind of uh, uh, commands within the job query as well wherein the type gives you the different types of jobs that are currently stored so you have the save job uh, the uh, session info, task job, utility job and so on. Let's quickly just look at one of these jobs. Let's go to save job and say dot space type save job and then print. So this is how the output would look like. This is a save job. So what was the command used? The command used was save the opt what was the status of this uh, job? It was successful. What was the group? What was the host it was run against? The job state and so on and so forth. This was a short uh, module on the network control database and the resource database. Thank you for sticking till the end. I'll meet you again on another video. Goodbye.